An often overlooked side effect of the pandemic is all the waste generated from the tens of millions of face masks that are thrown away each day in South Korea alone. Looking to challenge this head on, a local government south of Seoul has launched a project to collect masks and turn them into plastic raw materials. Yi Eun-jin has the story. The face masks that we wear to protect ourselves against COVID-19 becomes waste at the end of the day. South Korea alone throws away some 7.3 billion masks as waste each year. And one of the key mask materials, polypropylene, is a potential threat to the environment. Polypropylene is a type of plastic that's been reported to take over 450 years to completely decompose in nature, and it even releases toxins in the process, meaning it is not biodegradable. In the city of Yongin, the local government has launched a trial run of a project to collect these waste masks by setting up a special box at this apartment complex. We used to throw away used masks in general waste bags, but now we come here, even if this bin is a little out of the way. It is crucial to remove the metal nose strips when throwing masks away. Then, a nearby collection company comes regularly to pick up the gathered masks. Each mask contains roughly three grams of polypropylene. This is gathered and turned into plastic chairs or pet supplies. We use antiviral fabric to collect the masks, which blocks the spread of germs and viruses. We're making full efforts to prevent the spread of the virus when collecting and transporting the masks. We ask for your active participation as recycling waste masks is a step towards reducing household waste as well as responding to environmental pollution. Yongin City is currently running a trial of this project at one apartment complex, but it plans to expand these waste mask collection bins to all of its residential complexes. Yoon Jin, Arirang News.